The ACLU feels people of color are being excluded from juries and death penalty cases in Duval County. We told you about these concerns back in November when a study looking into disqualification found people of color are more likely to oppose the death penalty. Today, the ACLU took their argument before a Duval County judge. All your size, Taylor Levesque was inside the courtroom during that hearing. Taylor joins us now in the newsroom. Taylor, let's talk about what was discussed. Well, there are two defendants on death row, Luther Douglas and Donald Banks, both black, both sentenced in Duval County. To their, their attorneys and the ACLU argued race and religious discrimination impacted jury selection in their cases. You have greater opposition to the death penalty in the black community, and you have greater support for the death penalty in the white community. In a Duval County courtroom Friday, the ACLU argued that prosecutors excluded black jurors from capital juries because they opposed the death penalty on religious grounds. They say it violates the right of free exercise of religion. ACLU senior staff attorney Brian Stoll says racial discrimination still exists, but the judge argues anyone can oppose the death penalty. But it sounds like you're arguing that because opposition to the death penalty is reflected in a very high rate among a particular community, they're being excluded because they're part of that community. No, they're, they're being excluded regardless of their race based on the position they hold. The state said personal beliefs don't bar someone from serving as a juror, but the juror must make their decision based on the facts of the case. It is whether or not those personal opinions about a particular law will substantially impair your ability to follow that law. In the death penalty proceedings, it is that you can meaningfully consider the possibility of voting for death. The law requires meaningful consideration of both punishments. After hours of discussion, the judge passed the matter to May. His decision in May will determine if the two defendants stay on death row. In the newsroom, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.